Hi, I'm Deepika Padukone. I'm an actor, producer and philanthropist. I'll be opening up my little black book and bringing you into my world. Subscribe to the Bazaar channel so you don't miss an episode. Another important aspect of, of being an actor and, and being in the movie business is fashion. So I think most obviously in my little black book today, I take you through some of my thoughts on fashion and, and what that means to me. I was a model before I became an actor, but before that I was a badminton player, but we'll talk about that another time. Modeling happened to me really in a way that I didn't expect. So pay attention. My close friend's mother was and still is one of the most uh, respected and successful modeling agents. Apparently she'd always tell my mother that I should become a model. But it was through Anila Anand that I did a couple of campaigns as a child just for the exposure and just for some fun. I went for my first solo holiday when I was 16 and when I came back, it's that time in your life when your parents sit you down and ask you what you want to do with your life. And at this point, I was a professional badminton player. So this is when I said to them, I said, I don't want to pursue badminton anymore and that I would seriously like to pursue uh, modeling and acting. I think it was that experience that then prepared me for the movies. And you know, they are dependent on me. So if someone wants to marry me, then... You have to adapt to your 90-year-old child. Absolutely. Do you want to do it? So a very, very important part of my, uh, I think, fashion and style evolution. You know, I think the first person who had a huge impact on my life is Anaita Shroff Adajania. She's been a stylist with me for many, many years. And along the way, I also met through her, uh, Shalina, who's been my stylist now for the for the last couple of years. My first film was La Vachkal, which Deepika was in. So when I started working in the industry, I started working with Anaita. Anaita was styling Deepika at that point. That's how my journey with her started. I started working with her as an assistant with someone else. Then I started working with her independently six years, six, seven years ago. We know what the event is and then we choose a couple of words with for what we feel that event will be. Like, do we want to be sexy or do we just want to be glamorous or we just want to keep it cool? So we try and get a little bit of a mood and a vibe of what we want to look like for that event. The most important is how she's feeling that day and how she feels when she puts the outfit on. And she knows instantly, I think, when I see her in something, Especially in the pictures that we take for the fitting. When she likes something, she's always smiling. If she's not sure about something, her expression is a bit different. And I've realized that over time when I go through my phone, because my entire phone is filled with pictures of her and our fittings. So I know what she likes and what she doesn't like. Deepika's personal style, actually, I, f I personally feel like it's changed over time. So when I started, it was more jeans, t-shirt, it was more basic. Deepika also has an obsession with bags. She likes really big bags because she carries her entire house in her bag. Anytime you need anything, it can be medicine, it can be a scissor, it can be needle and thread, it can be anything and she will have it. Now I feel she's started experimenting, like when she goes out and shops, she'll buy some really interesting pieces, great pieces of course, but interesting and I, I'm also like, oh, I mean, I never thought you'd buy this. So I think she surprises herself and she surprises me. And she's really cute when she goes shopping because she's quite, she's really like, she's like, oh, I, I just bought this because I thought it was nice. So she's a little conscious to show me what she's bought, which I think is amazing. Her style has evolved. She's more open to experimenting, trying new things. She always says, you know, it should be fun. It's something we should enjoy. We shouldn't take it too seriously. Over the years, exposure to magazines or, or social media, even movies and through the characters that I've played, I think they've really allowed me to understand and embrace fashion in a very, very different way. So nothing seems strange or weird or bizarre to me anymore. While I, I believe that my inherent style is just simple and classic and elegant, having that exposure to the modeling world and also being an actor has really allowed me to play with, with fashion and not really box or restrict myself 
anymore. It's kind of what it's evolved into over a period of time. The pink and red trend, that's one of my favorite trends. So many people were wearing it at the Emmys this year and I just think those colors look so great together. Like even if you're wearing a bright pink suit and you just do a red lip, I think it just complements each other so well. I mean, certain things that we've been really working with now are bright pop colors, maybe bright pink and blue, and a lot of her looks have been like a lot of athleisure. We're doing a lot of sporty looks with like really cool sneakers. Especially when she's traveling, we put some really fun looks together. Even for her events now, we're trying to do something a little different every time, using a lot of color, actually. The designer that I really enjoyed wearing most recently was the neon green Gian Battista Valley gown. And in general, I feel like I love the work that he's doing. It's, it's large and it's vibrant and it's colorful. And I feel like I'm going through a phase where I really enjoy that. I have to say it was a lot of pressure this year because last year we did a pink Ashi dress and we literally came back to the room after we walked the red carpet and the big, I was like, Shal, what are you going to do next year? I already started feeling the pressure of it when we started coming back to Bombay and I was like, what are we going to do to make it bigger in every way, like in size, in the kind of coverage it got. It just had to be wow. How it came together, like when it was traveling, it was still huge. After it got ironed and opened out, it was hanging from the ceiling and it still wasn't fitting in the room. And her reaction when she entered the room was like, oh my God, like it, it was humongous. Like it was not even, I, I couldn't believe how big it was. The great part about working with Deepika is we work on everything together. It's also about how she's feeling, you know, in the moment of what she feels she wants to wear that day because at the end of the day, if she feels good in what she's wearing, it will look fantastic. I think the beauty of our relationship is that we get each other, we understand each other, we've become very, very close friends. And today, it's not just about work, but it's about comfort and I can look at her or not look at her and she'll understand exactly what I'm thinking or feeling. I think those are the relationships that I, you know, look forward to the most in my life because, you know, we've started from somewhere. We kind, we almost sort of started our careers together and she was an assistant. To see her evolve in, in front of my eyes, uh, to see her growth and to see her evolution, uh, makes me happy. I feel like the journey with her is what I value the most.